Joe Biden. Thank you very much. Hello, Iowa. There isn't anybody, there isn't any country in the world that can compete with us if we invest in our people, if we invest in who we are, if we remember who we are. There's not a single thing we've been unable to do. In a ruby red state at the time, 2015, the heart of the anti-Obamacare time. Unless you acknowledge that there is a right of privacy in the Constitution, as most leading scholars agree, that in fact you will not be able to protect the woman's right to choose. You will not be able to protect all the things that we seem to care so much about. I will not appoint anyone to the court who does not share that basic philosophy. Is one of my favorites. Another one that, you know, Montana, I talk about kicking dark money out of our elections. That really has been the fight in my career. The only thing that's happened is it's gotten worse. The way there's an attempt to divide us. Divide us in a way that, in fact, is totally contrary to who we are. We really are in a fight to restore the soul of this country. We've led the world in the past because not just that we're the most powerful nation in the world, but it's been the, not the, exact, the exercise of our power, it's been the power of our example. And around the rest of the world, we're losing that kind of influence. And they kick the corporations out of our elections till Citizens United in Montana. We need to do it all across this country. I can make sure that every single solitary person in the country has adequate health insurance. Build on Obamacare. Make sure it has a public option. Increase the prospect of probably going to lower drug prices. I think we as elected leaders need to learn that our kids learn from our words and our deeds, what we say and what we do, and our kids are watching today. We need to make sure we give something for them to aspire to and be inspired by it.